everyone. How we doing? It's Chris here bringing you guys another video. Sorry it's been a little while since we posted. You know life gets crazy when summer hits and springtime so just wanted to uh, give you guys a quick update on the birds. Let you know how all of them are doing. We've got some good activity going on. We've got babies that have come out. I've paired canaries back up together so hopefully we can get that that section up and running again. Um, I still have several female canaries out here uh, that hopefully will come into breeding condition. Some of them haven't shown a whole lot of signs yet. We've got some of the baby canaries out there. They're molted out, looking beautiful. So uh, we'll start here with the society finches. So we got our black eyed society pair right here. And they got two chicks that fledged. So we got the one chick right there and then the other chick on the far right. So mom and dad did good. They're already starting to lay again. So we'll let them get a second round going, which will be really nice. Got another pair of black eyes in here. Um, not much has happened with them. They're both of them are females. I have tried and tried to get them to sit so I can have them foster and uh, no such luck. So. I do have eggs in the nest. Actually, I just pulled those ones out, the dummy eggs. We'll leave it empty for a little bit. And then we'll throw some eggs back in there, see if we can kind of entice them or to start sitting. Uh, my cutthroats are laying eggs, but I don't have any uh, society finches at the moment to uh, sit on those eggs. So uh, we'll see what happens there. We've got all the cutthroat babies. They are all out. So we've got a total of seven babies. We had two males and five females. So um, two, one of the males, you can see him right there close. That's what he just dropped down. I have a male and a female that seem to show some pied on their wings. Their wings are white on the edges. So those will be something we'll have to keep an eye on. There's the female down there. Um, right there you see that white on her on her wings so uh, we got one little runt baby right there that seems to be hanging on parents are still feeding them so we'll see see if we can get that one weaned and hopefully get that one feeling better but um all the others are doing really good very active lively going back and forth they're already starting to eat on their own so as soon as we uh as soon as they feel comfortable we'll pull them out put them by themselves hopefully they'll do good my male golden finches down here are doing awesome Let's see if we can get you a good view in here of them see how well they have uh, colored up still molting but are probably about 80% of the way there you can see my orange head there that's on the far right he uh, had basically no feathers on his head when I got him he's gonna have a nice full head of feathers right there so we're getting ready to here pretty soon I'll move them out into the out into the aviary so looking gorgeous they're doing awesome we'll probably do a follow-up video on these guys before I move them out to the to the aviary um, just to show you the the difference of when I got them how they looked and how they look now in just a matter of just a couple months and so two to three months so it's been really awesome there super excited for that we've got our cutthroat pair down here she's laying eggs she's not really sitting on them um so i've been trying to get my society finches to, to sit again so i can transfer those eggs over hopefully we'll get some more cutthroat babies out of them have a trio here of societies we've got one male two females also hoping that maybe they'll do something for me there. I have thrown some eggs in here, um, some dummy eggs. So we'll, uh, they're still cold, so they're not sitting on them, but we're, we're trying to trying to get that going. So we'll see what happens there. Canaries, we were, I was able to set up some of my canaries again. Um, all of them have laid eggs or are laying eggs. So we got my male red factor here. And we've got my female crested there. She's sitting on uh, five eggs actually. And I got my mosaic pair here. There's my male. Hands up there in the nest. She laid four eggs. 
And then we got a red factor male here. He's new. Um, I brought him in from a different breeder on a breeding loan just to see if we can get some fertility increase here. And she's yellow, but she is a red factor. And so far she's laid three eggs. So they haven't been sitting too, or it hasn't been too long since they laid all their eggs. So I'll probably give them another few days before I candle in the, any of the eggs. Hoping, fingers crossed, we get some better fertility or even any fertility because I had to throw my males out in the aviary, get, let them get some exercise for a little while. They've been singing up a storm, so they're definitely ready to breed. So I think we'll be okay. I, I'm, I got my fingers crossed for some, some good results there. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be okay that way. My uh, Bork pair, they've laid eggs. Um, I, she, she's a super tight sitter. <clears throat> I have to like reach my hand in there and like lift her off the eggs. So she laid four eggs. Um, I candled them probably what three days ago and so far three of the four eggs are fertile so good news there hopefully we'll be getting some uh, bork chicks and i think i'll do a how to breed bork parakeets video coming up here soon um so stay tuned for that hopefully we'll get some good results there and hopefully we'll have some babies mostly i won't hand feed the babies but as soon as the babies are weaned off i probably will bring them into my house and try and tame them up a little bit. Borks are super calm, delicate birds, uh, or docile birds that tame down really easy. I mean, these guys are not tame, but that that's the male sticking out right there. And he'll let me get right up close to him and pet his tail and stuff like that. So um, really good birds to have and they're quiet. So if you guys are living in a populated area or an apartment and you don't want to have a noisy bird, a Bork parakeet is the way to go. These guys are awesome, so. Uh, that's majority of the update that we have here going on with these guys. We got our, got our cocktails, we got Mikey and Lucy up there. She's squawking a bunch. Mikey's tolerating her squawks. <laughs> That's what we'll say. Um, I haven't really had much action from these guys. Um, Mikey's pretty old, so we did finally figure out kind of an age of Mikey, and he is close to 13 and a half years old. So a cocktail lifespan typically was between 12 and 15 years, so he's pretty up there in years. He's starting to show his age. Um, still tame, still loves to be held and, and go in the house with me and and work and whatnot, but um, I don't think. We're gonna get any breeding out of them. So, and the female, she's just not interested um, at all right now for some reason, but so that's what we got here. We got a lot of the Goldian finches that are uh, most all of my Goldians have molted out the babies. Um, that's one of my babies right there. She's molted out. She's actually shown that she's ready to breed, but we're not gonna breed her till the end of the summer. Um, soon as it gets really hot here, uh, it kind of throws them out of breeding condition a little bit because it's just too hot to lay, to lay eggs and raise a family. So, but once fall comes, they'll, they'll kick into gear again. You can tell, you can look right there. She's checking out my canary nest. I threw a canary nest in there um, so I could see if any of my canaries, any of my canary hens, if they're starting to get broody and, and try and build a nest, I can pull them out and set them up in a cage. So, but things are going really good, guys. Hopefully everyone has uh, stayed safe. Hopefully everyone's enjoyed uh, Quarantine, I don't know if you can enjoy that or not, but if you have birds, it's a little bit more tolerable because you can uh, hang out with these guys more. Hope everyone's healthy. Hope everyone's birds are healthy and, and going strong. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll have some updates on the cutthroat babies. We'll have some updates on the Goldian finches. We'll get some breeding videos going here on the canaries. We'll get a how-to breed and an update on the bork, parakeets, all the above. So hopefully you guys will... Uh, 
enjoy. We'll also get some society finch updates going as well. So hopefully you guys will enjoy. We'll see you next time.